our uh, technical sessions. Uh, to now introduce our uh, seventh speaker of the day, uh, I request Mr. Siddha Tandusalvan, uh, on the pressure I have tonight's chapter, to introduce our speaker, Mr. Shailendra Singh, Product Manager, Gargi Hidmas Albertus, to the gathering. Thank you, Ignesh. Uh, to introduce our next speaker, or the final speaker of the day, uh, Mr. Shailendra Singh has completed his B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering in the, and has 10 plus years in the foundry industry. He is con currently the pro Product Manager, Coatings in Gargi, HA Group. He is responsible for Product Management Department for India, Southeast Asia, Middle East and South African foundry market. We, are, we welcome you onto the stage, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's a nice pleasure to be here at the National Foundry Day event organized by the uh, IF Chapter Chennai. And uh, I would like to extend my gratitude uh, for the organizers for this wonderful opportunity and uh, uh, all the uh, esteemed guests and uh, my fellow presenters. Uh, my name is Salender Singh. I am product manager for factory coatings at Gargi Hatness Alberta's. Uh, I am uh, having the uh, 10 years uh, work experience with foundry industry. I have uh, focused uh, uh, on innovation solution for the foundry uh, industry. And uh, today I am uh, presenting the inventive refractory coating solutions uh, for foundry applications. And in this presentation, I will uh, mainly focus on uh, some uh, innovative solution, uh, coating solution by H Group. So let's uh, go through the presentation. Uh, first, I, I, I would like to explain uh, our organization. So, HA, HA, HA Group, uh, Hartness Alberta's Group is a market leader uh, globally for foundry chemicals and uh, auxiliary products. Uh, we have uh, uh, 600 patents. HA Group is a research based company. And uh, globally, if you see the uh, team members, then more than 1800 people uh, are working with HA Group. And our presence is uh, in, uh, in more than 30 countries and uh, we have uh, 25 production plants uh, uh, all over the world. And we have 1700 uh, products uh, in our portfolio. Then this is a success story of more than 100 years of H Group. In 1970, Hartness and Albertus uh, merged into uh, the H Group and nowadays, uh, in uh, today, the H Group is a uh, represented in nearly 30 countries. Uh, these are the product portfolio, uh, more than 1700 products for all kind of process steps. Uh, our portfolio contains uh, binder systems, uh, different kind of coatings, uh, coated sand and special sand, uh, feeder systems, uh, some uh, metallurgical and non press products and some auxiliary products for foundry industries. Uh, our research and innovation uh, mainly focus on four points. Uh, uh, first one is climate protection, avoidance of uh, CO2 emissions. Uh, second one is uh, uh, clean air as a zero, zero as a goal zero emissions. And third one is uh, technology leadership increase efficiency for our customers with the best products. And fourth one is uh, circular economy and uh, optimal use of resources, complete material cycles. This is my uh, content of presentation, mainly I will focus on five points. Uh, one is uh, coatings for uh, serial casting production, mainly automated core production facilities. The second one is uh, coatings for green, green sand systems. This is uh, a mold coat uh, for improving the surface finish of the castings from the mold side. And third one is uh, multitasking, uh, the coatings for centrifugal uh, uh, casting production and fourth one is uh, uh, coating for metallic surface and defect, uh, and defective material. Uh, this is mainly uh, hot metal application. And fifth one is uh, CCU. CCU is the compact coating unit. Uh, this is the automated uh, automated coating preparation unit uh, for customer uh, for customer end. So first, I would like to go through the serial casting production for automated industry. Nowadays, uh, powerful and lightweight, delivering high, high performance uh, with minimal fuel consumption is the uh, modern requirement for uh, modern engines design. 
and uh, core package technology to produce highly complex casting with delicate cores are produced in automated uh, robot supported core, uh, uh, core production facilities. While uh, production of real castings, these are the major challenges for the foundry. Uh, first one is sand one or blockage issue. Uh, for example, for production of uh, cylinder block, engine, uh, engine block cylinder head, uh, brake disc castings, uh, manifold castings, turbo chargers, and uh, hydraulic parts, or many other castings, having the uh, major challenges for internal cleaning of the casting, internal sand fusion or internal blockage is the main, main issue for this uh, segment because of uh, difficulties to clean the casting from inside. Then second one is a vending issue. Uh, uh, all the complex core packages are made with cold box binder system and the cell binder system having a tendency of vending defect. Some of the customers using some kind of uh, anti vending agent to eliminate the uh, uh, vending in the castings. But uh, uh, anti vending agent is helping to eliminate the vending or reduce the vending in the casting but at the same time it also uh, create some negative impact for the uh, product, uh, core production side. Then third one is internal cleanliness. For example, uh, for production of an uh, engine block or cylinder head, uh, the cleanliness of the water jacket area is uh, very much crucial. Uh, it decides the performance of the vehicle as well as uh, it will not qualify the quality standard for the, uh, uh, for the suppliers. So, Internal cleaning less, uh, cleaning, cleanliness is uh, very much required uh, for automotive castings. Uh, so that's why this is also the major challenge. The next one is uh, defect free castings. Uh, I think this is a requirement for all kind of family, not only for uh, uh, OCL casting production. Then minimal rework. Uh, rework uh, somehow reduces the productivity. So every foundry uh, thinking that they they don't uh, do the any kind of rework so casting should be okay in single time so this is also one of the major challenges uh, for uh, for the foundry then dimensionally accurate uh, dimensionally accuracy is mainly for uh, complex core package where uh, core thickness is very thin and uh, surrounded with very uh, high metal thickness uh, which will subject it to some kind of uh, sand expansion because of excess heat transfer through uh, these areas and uh, uh, core uh, may be subjected to uh, warpage during the metal pouring so it's difficulty of getting the proper dimension is uh, very much uh, crucial here so after careful consideration of uh, all the major challenges HC Group has developed some innovative coating solutions for the serial casting production. Arcopal 885 series, uh, this is our newly launched series uh, in the Indian foundry market. And uh, uh, this, this, this series is compatible with all kind of binder system, or, or uh, like cold box and cell core package, uh, uh, Oxilca, Chromite chain, Zircon chain, Ceramic chain, or some other blend. Core made with thermal reclaim sand and uh, uh, and it's blend. Now, what is the special specialty of uh, Arcopal 885 series coatings? It will help to overcome all the major challenges what I explained in previous slide. Additionally, it also offers some uh, benefits to the uh, process, like elimination of anti veining agent. These coatings having the properties of uh, anti veining, so. It can eliminate the anti veining additives during production of uh, cores. Uh, generally, people uh, used to add 0.1% uh, uh, to 0.75% anti veining agent during the core production. Uh, and I have seen some foundries also using 1% uh, anti veining agent. So, that kind of addition uh, we can eliminate with uh, using these uh, inventive uh, coatings. Then, elimination of lo uh, localized use of jetan. For uh, uh, some of the castings where uh, horizon areas are there, so those areas will be subjected to some kind of uh, metal penetration, sand burn. So, people, uh, customers are using some localized jetton coatings uh, to avoid these kinds of fusion. So, these coatings will have the sufficient effect that will take care of everything. So, single coating application will cater the purpose. 
then insulation effect these coatings having the perfect balance of defectiveness as well as insulation so when a thin section coat subjected to high metal thickness that it will it will be subjected to uh, heat transfer excess heat transfer through the, these area so if coating has sufficient insulation then uh, it will restrict the heat transfer to the core then it will it will not allow to expand the sand so uh, so some of the dimensional accuracy defect can be eliminated after using this coating then optimization in the millipore value after using these coatings uh, your internal cleanliness will be improved so uh, finally uh, the millipore value will be optimized will be reduced these are the application range of these coatings uh, cylinder head assembly then engine block assembly turbo charger casting pump casting differential casings for the customer who are making the water jacket core for engine block casting in cold box with some lower mandi or lampe production facilities then uh, the whole core package can be dipped in the single uh, single coating so there is no requirement of additional localized jitcon or something else at water jacket area or casting area so argopal 85 series coating can uh, uh, can fulfill the purpose it will like uh, act as an assembly dip coating so all core, all cores can be coated with the single uh, single coating then many folds ventilated brake gears then hydraulic part complex gearbox housing all these uh, application range of these uh, innovative coatings then application uh, dipping is the most preferred application for uh, these uh, uh, inventive series coatings uh, it can be used in robotic dipping application it can be used in uh, dipping with manipulators it can be also used in manual dipping operations now next one is uh, coating for green sand system mold coat Green sand system with high pressure molding line is a uh, is mainly being uh, used for uh, production of cereal castings and uh, aesthetic requirement of uh, castings will need some kind of coating application on the mold surface. These are some common defects involved in the production of casting with the green sand system: mold scab, metal penetration, sand fusion, rough surface. So mold coats can help to eliminate these defects. Ache Ache has developed an innovative coating for green sand system. That's the Durasol GS4942. The perfect balance of defectiveness as well as solvent package make it uh, make it effective against the metal penetration, sand burn, and scab defect with optimal rate of uh, coating drying. Drying is a very important criteria here because uh, in serial casting production with uh, high pressure molding lines, uh, cycle time of mold. is very less after making the mold you will not get much time to uh, spray the coatings and uh, wait for some time uh, mold has to go to next work work station for uh, uh, further activity like chaplet placing core placing or uh, other activity so coating should be dry very fast and durasol will dry it's a self drying property so no need to ignition no need to ignite no need to heat up no need to burn a coating will dry itself and it will dry within 30 second 30 to 35 second drying tendency of coating also depend on the sand temperature if generally people are, are working with the range of 40 to 50 degree sand temperature with that temperature then coating can be dry within 20 25 second so drying tendency is very fast and no need to apply very thick coating layer on the mold surface only 50 to 75 micron is more than sufficient to deliver the optimum results then elimination of metal uh, metal penetration and scab defect improvement in cast surface finish then reduce rework and cleaning cost and best suited for uh, high pressure molding lines this coating can be sprayed with different kind of spray guns some special spray gun also can be used triple action spray gun also can be used gravity feeding spray gun also can be used and airless spray gun also can be used only need to ensure the nozzle orifice it should be in between 1.25 to 1.5 mm so all the effective particle will pass through it so there is, there will be no blockage during the application so only need to ensure the nozzle size coating can be spray with all kind of possible spray guns for delivering the consistent results we 
uh, it's well yeah. recommend to use uh, as a uh, use a closed spray container with instead of inside it rotating at very very slow rpm rpm may be 50 is more than sufficient but some rpm should be there to make the coating homogenize every time to ensure the ensure weekly cleaning of the nozzles and the pipeline for the, any kind of blockage during the coating application third one is coating for centrifugal castings we call it multi casting as the range of centrifugal castings uh, application increases, so it has the importance of coating too. Uh, in the past, coating was mainly used as a separating layer between the mold and the uh, casting part, whereas today they are designed to meet very specific requirement. Innovative coating formulated for centrifugal casting help to avoid casting defects, in influence mechanical parameters, and even uh, serve as a common medium to. Uh, to allow the creation of a special structure surface. I will show in next slide why kind of surface we can generate with the centrifugal coatings. So multitasking means uh, coating is performing multiple tasks here. So that's why we call it multitasking. First one is coating as a separating agent. Coating working as a separating media. So it will not uh, allow to come liquid metal with the metallic dye. So it's acting as a barrier, the fatty layer uh, is uh, generating a barrier in between metal and the mold. And then second, coating as a formal media. Coating can generate some special structure after, uh, uh, after adding some special kind of additive. So uh, generally this kind of requirement is mainly for uh, cylinder line of production for aluminium block. For low commercial vehicle, uh, uh, small cars or some other so by bikes also. Then extraction behavior. Extraction is the main criteria for centrifugal casting production. Uh, extraction after coating application, extraction will be very smooth. Liner or uh, pipe will not extract with the met uh, metallic dye, so uh, it will come out very smoothly. So that is also the very important criteria here for centrifugal casting production. Then gas absorption capacity. In the centrifugal casting production, all the gases during the metal pouring will travel through the coating layer only. So coating layer should have the sufficient permeability uh, to absorb all the gases for making the clean castings without any gas defect. Then avoiding casting defects. There is many casting defects involved in the centrifugal casting production. After using the uh, centrifugal coatings, you will be able to uh, resolve all kind of defects. Then insulation defects. Insulation is a uh, mainly to ensure the me mechanical properties, microstructure and the uniformity of the structure throughout the uh, pipe. So insulation behavior is very much important here. Then time speed. Coating for centrifugal casting production, coating will be spraying on the mold, uh, on a heated mold, rotating at certain RPM. So when you spray the coating on the dye, it should be uh, immediate uh, start drying. And temperature of mold is generally in between 200 to 300 degrees centigrade. And uh, for centrifugal uh, castings, uh, production only water based coatings are being recommended to use because of uh, its uh, application on the hot, hot condition of mold. So, drying speeds matter a lot. Then, controlling surface structures. If the requirement of cast surface is smooth, then uh, we can manage the edge cast surface uh, with using some special coating. You can see some photographs. Uniformity and insulation. Uniformity of the structure over the whole pipe is the requirement of the castings because the uh, pipe having certain length, maybe 900 meter, 900 uh, mm, 3 meters, 4 meters, up to 8 meters, uh, up to 6 meters in India, uh, people are producing centrifugal castings. So, mechanical property insulation will be same throughout the pipes. Then, good machining through high insulating property. If coating will provide the proper insulation, then uh, uh, we can reduce the hardness of, of the outer surface of the uh, liner. So it will help to reduce the, uh, the hardness, which will improve the machinability. So that is also very much important uh, criteria here. Then ex easy extraction after solidification of pipe. Then adherence of coating after the extraction. Generally, it uh, helps in two ways. We will see in next slide. When all the coating will come out uh, with the outer surface of uh, casting, then uh, it will reduce the dye cleaning time as well as it will 
uh, it will avoid any kind of dust in the working place. You can see the, uh, some of the casting uh, having been well there. So good permeability, sufficient permeability should be there to avoid the kind of thin oil defect in the castings. So controlling the surface structure, this is mainly a creation of some special surface on the die, so that will reflect to uh, formation of the outer surface of the liner. Generally with the help of some, uh, some special coatings and special additive, we can achieve these three kind of structure. And structure with undercut, hydraulic structure, then mushroom structure. You can see uh, the aesthetic look of the uh, coating after drying on the uh, on the die. It will have some kind of spike, in plus point, negative point. So the same in same way the uh, formation of surface will be there in the casting. This structure finish line is mainly for uh, cylinder liner production, and uh, uh, these are being used in aluminium block for uh, two wheelers for uh, the small size cars. Because uh, aluminium is a soft material and uh, these liners uh, basically The gels labor with our coatings uh, You can see the uh, coating spray of the lens and the roughness of the dye created after uh, coating spray Then extraction of the liner, then cooling, then short blasting After short blasting you will get this kind of surface You see undercut structure, we can also achieve mushroom structure here and this is the final application of uh, liner in the engine block. We have, uh, this is our product line for centrifugal casting production. We have all the products for uh, uh, all kind of metal for different alloys of steel, iron and non ferrous and uh, for smooth requirement, smooth surface finish as well as for structure surface finish of iron liner. Okay, we can assume this. The next is the coating for metallic surface and refractive material. This is for hot metal, metal application. This is a new concept we, uh, we are launching in India. Uh, this is an all-round material for metallic surface and the refractive material to prevent the addition of uh, slag and the liquid metal to increase the life of the lining material as well as to reduce the cleaning time. You can see some application range of this product. Uh, it can be used for pig iron production it can be used uh, for melting tools, it will improve the life of the melting tools. Uh, for pig iron production, it will not uh, create any kind of extracting on the die after solidification. So, uh, and also uh, at the same time, surface finish of the pig also will also improve. It can be used for pouring ladles on the refractory castable material. It will increase the lining life and uh, in some cases, it will double the lining life also, depending on the, the uh, quantity of uh, tapping at uh, one time. Then the last one is the CCU, Compacted Coating Unit. HC Group and New Hop are the business partner for coating uh, equipment manufacturing in Germany. And uh, now HC Group and New Hop have developed a space saving and programmatic uh, solution for coating preparation. This is mainly the whole concept behind the CCU unit is to eliminate all kind of manual intervention uh, during the coating preparation at customer side. This machine will do all the coating preparation in auto mode. Uh, all the uh, data can be fed in PLC. So uh, whatever the requirement, viscosity or density, you can feed in the PLC. And uh, uh, this uh, intelligent machine will take the water or solvent, whatever, and the amount of coating, what is the requirement for the, for the best side. It will mix uh, uh, in auto mode uh, at some RPM for some times and after getting the uh, material ready as per the requirement which is set it, uh, to in the panel, it will give indication to the operator to uh, deliver this coating for dipping tank or flooding tank or whatever. It's a small video of this. Uh, you can see the... Only coating has to be supplied in IBC containers. 
we can keep the uh, quantity of protein whatever will be required and the viscosity or density whatever the criteria for final application consistency so coating will supply uh, coating, uh, this machine will take amount of coating and water and solvent whatever uh, in the right proportion to get that uh, viscosity or density it will mix it uh, at some rpm um, for a certain time After meeting the required viscosity or density, it will give indication to the operator. Then coating can be delivered to the uh, uh, next dipping tanks or flooding tanks. So every time the same viscosity, same density, same coating thickness for uh, uh, all over the year, we can say. So every time will will be the viscosity, then all the application consistency is same. So we will get the consistent result. Because the uh, variation in coating thickness will also uh, change the performance of the coating. Coating material is what, sir? Coating is uh, water waste or solvent waste, whatever is the requirement of foundation. Is it graphite waste or uh, graphite waste can be can be there. Zircon can be there. Aluminum silicate can be there. Oh, that is a combination of uh, some refractory. It's not graphite waste. So, almond and silicate base. Yes. So, that's all about from my side. If anyone has any question, then I will. Do you have any recommendations for the website? What is the casting metal? Steel. Steel. Then, better to go with Jetan. No, that mold coat is only for application on green sun system, not for Pepset. Pepset system require different kind of coatings. Yeah, we have the different product line for Pepset system for steel castings. Generally, for steel casting, uh, either almond based coatings or zircon based coating is the most preferred uh, in Indian market. So. Uh, you can use water with zircon also or solvent with zircon also depending on the application requirement for uh, bomb or incoming application criteria uh, incoming bombing criteria uh, we can recommend a suitable grade to you okay uh, thank you sir i think uh, we can uh, have the other questions over high uh, first of all thank you sir for the lovely presentation being the last paper for the day it is sometimes <laughs> Tiring for people, but uh, all of you have been a good sport and listened and learned a lot from these seven papers. So now I request our IAF Chennai chapter council member, Mr. Job Nivraj, to felicitate Mr. Shailendra Singh with a traditional Angavastram. We now request Mr. S. Udrayson, Senior VP Operations and Technical, Brace India Foundry Division, to present the speaker with a moment of Thank you, gentlemen.